हेलो स्टूडेंट वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर हैप्पी हेल्दी एंड फाइन एट होम डू यू रिमेंबर व्हाट वर वी डिस्कसिंग यस्टरडे आई थिंक वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट सम रीअरेंजमेंट रिएक्शन आई थिंक टू रीअरेंजमेंट रिएक्शन वी हैव डिस्कस यस्टरडे नंबर वन इज कॉड एज अ कर्टियस रीअरेंजमेंट रिएक्शन एंड अनदर वन इज अ स्किमिथ रीअरेंजमेंट रिएक्शन आर कर्टियस रूट आर द स्मिथ रीअरेंजमेंट रिएक्शन आर स्मिथ रूट आर द रीअरेंजमेंट रिएक्शन वॉट आर द स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल एंड वॉट आर द स्पेसिफिक और वॉट आर द वॉट वी कैन कॉल इट एज अ reagent used for this reaction and what type of the intermediate uh, and what kind of the product we are get, <coughs> getting so that type of the thing we have discussed yesterday so as far as that curtius and the smith they having as a similarity both are the reaction producing after finally the amine and during the formation of amine there is a evolution of uh, carbon dioxide but the starting material used for curtius rearrangement is acetyl chloride and that is treated with sodium azide and the when that heated the thermal reaction as well as photochemical reaction there is a uh, formation of the nitrate and nitrate is a further rearrangement reaction takes place and form as a isocyanate as an intermediate when that isocyanate treated with water form as a carbo uh, carbonic acid and carbonic acid after heating there is a evolution of carbon dioxide and the formation of the aniline and so uh, formation of the amine so that is the uh, whole story regarding that curtius rearrangement reaction and second one is a smith rearrangement reaction and both are having as a similarity but here the starting compound is used as a carboxylic acid and that is remember here the reagent used in a smith rearrangement reaction is a hydroxyic acid hn3 most of the student get confused hn3 means hydroxyic acid and the nh3 is ammonia so most of the student uh, may get confused here they might uh, thought that uh, there may be as a spelling mistake but there is no spelling mistake remember when the smith rearrangement is there there is always nh3 you remember n uh, not n h uh, h n 3 h n 3 3 number uh, there are three number of nitrogen atom and only one hydrogen atom means that is a proton and that a proton protonate that carboxylic group and then that azide or n 3 attached to that there is a evolution of ammonia in form as a intermediate similar to as a curtius rearrangement and then there is a uh, delocalization and as we are representing by two headed uh, two uh, double headed arrow and that uh, indicate that two structures are and there are two different ways to represent the same uh, delocalized structure and we got as a, this one and then there is a formation of nitrine and nitrine is further rearrangement of that and as we know that rearrangement reaction means what a reaction in which the carbon skeleton or the functional group are both are modified in a reaction is known as a rearrangement reaction and that we are learning and so today we are going to learn about mechanism involving oxonium ion and whatever we have learned so far that is mechanism involving nitrogen atom but now or nitrate here the mechanism involving oxa oxanium ion mechanism involving mecha <coughs> mechanism mecha mechanism involving involving oxanium ion oxanium ion <coughs> mechanism uh, involving 
oxanium i an oxanium ium indicate as a there is a electron deficient species means they carries as a positive charge or electron deficient number of electron are less in that species and therefore it is known as oxa oxa indicate as a oxygen atom and therefore oxanium ion means there is a electron deficient oxygen atom and the mechanism involving ox oxonium ion and that's why we are learning we are discussing right now or just now the so <coughs> preparation of the divalent oxygen atom of the alcohols and ether and as we know that alcohols and the ether they are the functional group isomers structural in a structural isomer there are functional group isomers one alcohol has a alcoholic oh group and the ether has a uh, linkage uh, co c linkage are there and by uh, by uh, strong acids produces a produces a hydrocar oxanium cation electron or uh, electron deficient oxanium uh, cation and because the oxygen of an uh, oxanium ion has a valence electron a valence cell octet valence cell octet and it does not does not consider an electron deficient site and cannot serve as a rearrangement reaction remember when there is a enoch if you observe the structure of alcohol and the ether the uh, that oxygen atom in alcohol as well as it in the ether it complete its uh, valence cell electron so there is a no uh, question of deficiency uh, deficiency uh, deficient in nature and therefore to introduce rearrangement in the same in the same number as a trivalent uh, carbocation trivalent when we attach another one and then like in a water h2o and when we are adding a slight amount of acid that become as a h3o plus means oxygen there are three bond and we are putting as a positive charge on the oxygen atom that type of the tri uh, carbo uh, tri carbocation oxygen uh, must be converted to a, a unique coordinate carbocation as shown in the following reaction a 1 to alkyl or 1 to aryl shift then transform a relatively uh, relatively unstable car uh, unstable oxanium into more stable carbocation so that type of the things are happening let us see over there rearrangement how it is uh, acting over there suppose we have a <coughs> r uh, suppose let us see over here r then c here r again is r in the alcohol oh this type suppose this shifted from here to here what you are going to get r c here r then here is also as a positive charge and o uh, o r as well as there is also as a positive charge so that type of the things are there when treated with the uh, not positive here when it goes along with it here positive and o o r so here is a lone pair actually taking place over there o, only as ox only o is there that just like as a this one and when it is attached to here is not that there is r positive charge over there and now this we can show over here like this r c then r double bond o then here is our positive charge comes on that oxygen atom and it is a trivalent like this and when it is living over there so you may get 
as is a conversion of that r c double bond o r and plus it may get over there suppose as a water molecule is added over there here h2 you may get as a alcohol over there this type of the uh, rearrange product is uh, obtained in this particular case now is a precursor of uh, oxocation precursor of oxocation precursor of oxocation oxocation precursor precursor means the starting material the useful starting material used for this rearrangement reaction the simplest precursor of an of an oxocation is a peroxide or equivalent derivative for example ro oh or ro twice o removal of hydro uh, uh, initially converted to a better better living group to a number of uh, such by production the hydroxyl group the living group becomes water then generation occurs so that type of the thing is peroxide means for example suppose you have a this type of the compound here o o h this is a peroxide type of the compound or let me draw properly over here here c then cs3 cs3 o o h this is called as a peroxide peroxide means just like as you might be knowing as a hydrogen peroxide h2o2 that type of the things and they when there is a loss of h plus proton over there or addition of that proton what you are going to get over here so you may get this type of the species c then cs3 another cs3 over there o then oh2 positive charge over there and after that there is a elimination of water molecule takes place over there and here you are going to get the mono monovalent oxocation so like this c cs3 cs3 o electron depletion monovalents are there so then that will be treated with there is a rearrangement reaction takes place there are the three groups are there and among this the migratory aptitude of that phenyl group is o greater as compared to as that this one and therefore it is migrating from here to here you may get the compound like this here uh, o then c cs3 cs3 positive charge over there and there if you treat this compound with again as a uh, water molecule h2 what you are going to get this is going to attack over there then oh so finally you will get as a this type of the compound oh and maybe as a <coughs> this one c oh cs3 h and the cs the alcohol and the phenol we are resulting compound we are getting over here or maybe as a not a phenol here is a ketone we are going to get over there here c double bond o and cs3 one is a phenol and another one is a ketone so that type of the uh, cumin iso hydro peroxide cumin hydro pero the name of this compound is a cumin hydro peroxide so this type of the reaction beer villiger rearrangement reaction or oxo uh, oxidation is classical example of formation of oxonium cation and oxocation in the reaction so this is a beer villiger oxidation reaction we will see uh shortly but before that let us uh, see the reaction that is a very famous reaction and well known reaction that we are going to learn today is the beckman rearrangement reaction now we are going to uh, discuss about the beckman rearrangement reaction
let us see over here beckman rearrangement reaction beckman beckman rearrangement reaction rearrangement beckman rearrangement reaction now beckman rearrangement reaction means what what are the starting material used for that and what are the reagent used and what is the speciality and where it is used that type of the thing we are going to learn regarding that beckman rearrangement reaction when uh, ketoxamine ketoxamine means what ketone treated with hydroxyl amine form as oxime derivative is reacted in a acidic medium like sulfuric acid or reagent like pcl5 socl2 acyl or sulfonyl chloride al2o3 these are the different reagent used in the beckman rearrangement reaction like as a uh, socl2 which we know that thionyl chloride PCl5 or PCl3 or Al2O3 or concentrated H2SO4. These are the common reagent. These are the reagent used for the Beckman rearrangement reaction. When ketone is treated with hydroxyl amine, the resulting compound form is called as oxime, and that oxime further treated with these are the reagent and if you treat with this reagent etc and the resulting compound is formed that is called as a beckman rearrangement reaction so here uh, compound uh, converts oh of oxime in a good living group forming uh, forming natrilium ion and this is this is uh, trapped by water to give an n substituted n substituted n substituted amide and we are getting as a n substituted amide generally group group trans with respect to oh is generally uh, migrate uh, in this Beckman reaction uh, rate to form the product and in symmetrical ketosis only only one product is formed oxime is formed by reaction of hydroxyl amine with the so these are the reagent now generally what is happen uh, happening over there suppose you have a starting compound is here r c double bond o then r dash when it is a uh, treated with hydroxyl amine as we know that like this and form as ammonia derivative as we know that better way r then c double bond n o h and this will be the r dash suppose suppose this one is a symmetrical now but then Beckman rearrangement reaction Beckman 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 rearrangement reaction takes place over here what is happening this group is a trans to hydroxy group in presence of H plus means concentrated H2SO4 if you use over there this get protonated and this group get migrated like this and you are going to get this type of the product here you write R uh, R dash then C look at here double bond N then here is a R right this type of the compound is formed over there and now look at here there is a positive charge when water molecule is added over the row edge this is going to attack on that uh, carbocation which is a deficient in nature now we are going to get here R then OH you can write over there and then here is a uh, like this maybe as a NH then R and then so maybe as not like this OH double bond and now this moving like this so that we are going to get over here amide type C double bond O then NH and R this we are getting 
n amide so amide formation takes place over there so this is general reaction and this is known as a what we can call it as a beckman rearrangement reaction so this is generally taking place over there now let us look at as a mechanism how we are getting as a this type of the compound here suppose we have a starting compound here for beckman rearrangement reaction and for beckman rearrangement reaction c double bond n and then oh r dash right now here h plus this h plus what is happening over there oh uh, the lone pair which is present on that oxygen atom will pick up the proton like this and we are going to get r then c double bond n oh twice positive charge and here is a r now there is a elimination of water molecule takes place and now <laughs> like this so this r trans to this is migrating over here so i am putting as a r dash over here and what you are going to get here r dash then c double bond n and this r now this is a positive charge that is a carbocation we are going to get and now further it is treated with water it is going to attack at this carbon atom which is a electron deficient in nature so here we are going oh double bond n and h and this is just like as a uh, uh, enol formation right at an equilibrium what is going to happen so this yeah, not here is r dash now this is going to get over there r then c double bond o n h and this r this is nothing but as a amide formation we got over this amide formation so this is a general mechanism of that uh, beckman rearrangement reaction so most of the example we will see tomorrow's lecture i think let us stop today here thank you have a nice day